calling both. This is Emily. How can I help you? Hi, Emily. Uh, my name is Brad, and I am doing a little birthday shopping for my father. Um, if you don't mind, I'm patching in my twin brother, Mork. Hi. Mork. Okay. Hi, it's, hi, it's Mork, and we're just looking for a little gift for Daddy. Mm -hmm. I have some ideas. Oh. Um, my brother has some ideas, and we wanted to pitch you some of these and see if we can get your opinion so we can get a wonderful gift for Daddy. Problem is, last year we did go to the Dutch bakery, and he hated it. It wasn't this Dutch bakery in particular. Okay. But uh, maybe Mark can speak to the particulars. Yeah. We worked very hard on that Dutch cake for Daddy. Oh, and he sure, th yeah. He threw it, and I don't think he was aiming for Mork, but I did get a lot of that mocha... Right in my on my eyes. Oh no! You know, Daddy loves meat pies, and I'm wondering mm -hmm. if you could do some kind of meat themed concoction without mocha. Yeah, I think I think what what Mork's circling around is uh, almost like a wedding cake, but inside is nothing but meat, like maybe ground beef, ground lamb. He loves he loves venison. Okay, we well we don't. But from the outskirts, from the outskirts, if you're just coming in the door, you go, oh, sweet cake, great. And then you cut in and hot meat trickles down and the fat from the meat percolates you know, was, through the tips i wonder if we can get a meat cake so big that more could get inside and i could be in there for a couple hours maybe we can use a straw for breathing and right before daddy comes in you pull out the breathing straw and i leap out of the meat cake and it's molten hot with jalapeno spice what's the price on that uh, well we don't really have any meat cake um and I don't think we can make our cake big enough to have a person pop out of it, so. Well, you have, we haven't told you how big Mork is. <laughs> yeah, it's not something we laugh about. Mork is under two feet tall. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't appreciate being laughed at. I'm calling to, to get my daddy a cake, and it's, it's not, it's not that, that bad that I'm that small, but I also have one glass eye. Do you know just, like, what kind of design or, like, flavors you would be looking for? We love Shrek. Shrek? We could Shrek the shit out of that cake. We'd put shitload of Shrek all over it, green bullshit on there, maybe a big Shrek, uh, Shrek winking with Donkey next to him. And you can just um, give us an, some extra icing and, and Mork could get all iced up like a Donkey. And right when Daddy walks in the room... Mork will raise up on his two hind hooves and say, Daddy, are you finally proud of me? And I could pop my eye. In. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mork's eye fell out and we're running after it. I got it. He coming. I got, hold on. I'm sorry. Can you help me? <laughs> okay, it's in. Well, we don't have a right to doing any um, specific characters, so we would have to. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, we would have to do We got to get Daddy a cake. It's his 40th, and we just want it to be a special day for him, you know. He only has so many more years left. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I I don't really have a lot of time to design a cake like this. I do recommend setting up a consultation with our cake coordinator, and she'd be happy to throw those ideas around. We'll, we'll put Mork in a paper bag and get, get over to you as soon as we can. Okay, sounds good.